Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and thank you for tuning in. My name is Venile, I am a lifestyle blogger from South Africa. If you're new on this channel, you are very much welcome and please do not forget to subscribe, like, share and comment on this video. Today I'm going to be giving you a very motivational story. A story of two young men who grew up in the village, went to school in the village and decided to go to the city to work and then save their money, came back to the village and then they started their own business. This business is a very lucrative business because they have decided to start a transportation business that is going to service the community. How is it servicing the community? How different it is from the other transport businesses that are there in South Africa, especially in the rural areas? Well, this one takes you from wherever you are coming from, whether you're coming from a mall, a nearby mall or a nearby town, and you want to be transported straight into the gate where you are staying, they take you there. And they are very affordable. They take you from wherever you want to go to the village where you want to go. They go in between villages. They are not taxis like you know them in South Africa. They are just like an Uber where as an individual or a couple or a family can be taken in a private car straight into the places where you want to go. If you want to visit friends and you do not have a car, you want to call them, you call these guys. They come to your house, take you to your, from your house and then go and drop you wherever you want to go. You want to go to a mall nearby city or nearby town to go and buy groceries or clothing or anything like that. They are going to pick you up from your home and then drop you wherever you want to go and then return you back into your home. This is the kind of service that nobody has ever thought it will happen in the rural areas. So guys, I'm going to be interviewing them. It's two of them. Oh, I'm going to be interviewing them. I'm going to be interviewing them. I'm going to be interviewing them. All right, because you take it in the West Zinzegi or Ila, and go see what I choose, what I get, I'm going to see what I'm going to do. Yeah. I'm going to be able to pick up a bike. Yeah. I'm going to be able to see what I'm going to do. Yeah. Mr. Mkiza is explaining here that they are operating in a village called Solomon Linda Village, previously known as Pomeroy Village. I want to be in transportation system. I want to be in transportation the <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah. so we are While Mr. Kaba was busy attending to other clients and making sure that the cars are getting out as the clients were kicked, they kept on coming. I asked Mr. Mkise how they started this business because this business is very big. It requires a lot of income. How did they get income to start this business? This is what he said. So guys, this is the team and it's not all of them because some, have, some are out and they are driving. On top of that, they've created employment for 10 young men who are drivers. It is not all of them see, that you see here on this video because some of them have gone out because clients needed to be taken some places. But it was very nice to see all of them nicely uniformed and it was very impressive. I'm very proud of them because their service is going to come handy for all of these people who come to this little small town in the village called Pomeroy 
which has changed now to Solomon Linda. Recently, they've changed the name of the village, which is another achievement for the developments that are happening in this village. Name Solomon Linda is the name of a legendary musician who was actually the first pioneer of Isi Tatamiya music who came from this village. People of this village, they become so proud of this international star who passed away a long time ago and they felt that they need to honor this musician and hence the name has changed into Solomon Linda. I am very proud of the people of Solomon Linda village. You can tell that what these guys have started is really accepted by the community. The number of cars that have come out in and out since I've started this interview is very impress impressive. That means the business is going. That means the business is accepted by the community. That is what we want to see in our villages. I just want to emphasize that this video is not a sponsored video. I am trying to spread the word about the good that people are doing out there, especially the youth of South Africa living in the rural areas. I'm trying to show people that there is a chance for them. There is a way forward. I mean, it's not about waiting, sitting and waiting for a job to come to you. It's about you creating a job for yourself and for other people. That is what development is called. So there is so much development that is happening in the rural areas. If you are new on this channel, that's what we talk about. We showcase the beauty of the rural areas and everything beautiful that is happening in the rural areas. From the beautiful mansions that people have built in the, in, in the rural areas to the developments that are happening with the infrastructure, with the economy that is starting to be booming and the opportunities that are there for people who are living in the rural areas and those who want to move into the rural areas of South Africa. It is the professionalism that these guys are presenting with their business that just wow me. It's just so impressive. I'm really impressed about what they are doing. Look at them and their uniform and how proud they are. If you are from Solomon Linda village, which is formerly known as Komeroy in Umsinga, please do support them. Here are their numbers. Their contact details are very simple and they are just all over on their cars. Please print grab this and then you can just call them anytime if you need their service. I love what they are doing. These two young men are very, very, very ambitious. I mean, like, I wouldn't have thought of this because I always think, well, if I start a business in the rural areas, how good is it going to help? Because the roads are very bad. I mean, like, you, we all know that the roads are very bad in the rural areas. We love the infrastructure in South Africa, especially in the rural areas. And our youth will show you what they are capable of doing. This is one thing that nobody has ever thought will happen in the rural areas. It's like having an Uber in the rural areas especially in the villages they takes you from one village to another village regardless of the bad roads that we do have in our rural areas so guys this story is very very interesting it's very fascinating it's very inspiring if you're not inspired today i don't know when you will be inspired to start your own business contribute to the development of the rural areas in south africa if you're a youth of south africa this is the opportunity for you because i always tell people to move to the rural areas coming from the city it does not take that much because all you need to do is to go to the chief try and acquire land start building your own house steady but surely or building your own business steady but show don't we all want to start our own businesses in this manner save your own money start your own business and then wait until you get that profit the only thing these people need is your support